Ultra Human versus the Aura Ring. Which one of these is the best smart ring, the best sleep tracker? Today, we're gonna find out. First, I'll cover their design, form, feel, and factor. Then the fitness tracking, the sleep tracking, different kinds of features that they have that make them unique, their battery life and charging, and finally, their price. And by the end, you'll know, should you buy any of these? And do they take off of a wrong video? First of all, I did not get any of these for free. I bought both of these rings with my own cash money. Now, when it comes to design, form, feel, and fit, I think the really interesting thing about wearing a tracker on your ring is it's a little more subtle, it's more classy. These rings do run thick. If you look at both of them, one is a size 12, the other is a size 13. So not gonna match up perfectly. When I first got the Ultra Human ring, I was like, did they just copy the Aura ring? They almost look like they're replicas of each other. But there are some subtle differences. The Ultra Human ring has a little tiny notch on the top, kind of like a little point. I do love with this Aura ring version, there's a noticeable notch on the bottom telling you kind of where the ring should be. So that should be the bottom of the ring. The Aura ring has these three little bumps on the bottom for the sensors, whereas the Ultra Human Ring only has one little bump because that's where you're going to get the most accurate data. One unique difference is the Aura Ring will do size 6 to size 13, whereas the Ultra Human only does size 6 to 12. So if you're like me and you have really thick fingers, you can't get that really big size. And that's why I have two different size rings. What I recommend is when you get the sizing kit, wear it for 24 hours and make sure that that is the right ring size that you want because once you buy it, it's very hard to exchange. This is cool. They send you these. Sizing kit? Is it for that cool? I don't know. Should I just wear this around? I think in terms of like how accurate it is, the pointer finger is the best, and then middle and ring are the next best ones. Bro, 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 bro. What? Wait, dude. Let me finish the video, and then we'll figure it out. So if you ever do get it stuck in your finger like him, the best thing to do is put your hand in cold water. Typically, the metal won't shrink in size, but because that one's plastic, it might. So we're going to try that soap and cold water. <laughs> oh, you got it off? Dude, that scared Soap and cold water. That actually scared me for a minute. <laughs> Yeah. I'll be honest with you, I don't wear this mostly during the day. I kind of leave these by my nightstand and I'll put them on right before I go to bed. But I tend to kind of leave it in the shower. I'll take it off when I go weightlifting, swimming, or any activity where they kind of get wet on the inside or I need to grip something really well. Having a very thick ring on your finger just isn't very useful when you're trying to do activities that require your hands. I like to keep them clean and free. But in terms of comfort, this is probably the most comfortable kind of wearable out there that you can have. Both of these rings beat the circular ring, which was like a weapon on your finger. I'd probably stay away from that until they fix the design. And then there are some more rings coming out on Kickstarters. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to see my videos comparing those as well. If you do plan to buy one, use the affiliate links below. That helps support the channel so I can buy more of these. In terms of illness, I have noticed that if I'm having allergies or if I'm getting sick, like my skin temperature, body temperature can go up. So it's really interesting to see that data on the Aura ring, but the Ultra Human ring did not show that as well. It's 37 beats per minute right now. There's no way that is accurate. It's way off. And my skin temperature is also off. And anytime I do notice a drastic change from my typical trends, what I will do is try to live healthier, you know, get enough sleep, maximize my nutrients. It's valuable to have this information. It was not ideal that the Ultra Human Ring did not show the rise in temperature as much as the Aura Ring did. Action. Next up is the fitness tracking. So the Ultra Human Ring will have kind of a movement index and they'll say kind of my daytime heart rate as well as how much I've moved throughout the day. But there's no active fitness track. Whereas on the new Aura Ring, there is fitness tracking for walking, cycling, and running. And if you don't have any other heart rate monitor or sensor, it's really nice because you can automatically publish your cycling, your runs, your walks to Strava if you want. There's a couple other third-party integrations. And knowing that I can kind of use this as another heart rate monitor is very valuable. The only downside is I need my phone to start and stop the workouts. So it's not as easy as using like an Apple Watch or a Garmin watch. But it's the next best thing. If you're not competing for a specific event, and maybe you just kind of want to get some general data about your workouts, this is extremely valuable if you already are using it as a sleep tracker. Speaking of which, sleep tracking. Which one is better at tracking your sleep? So I love to say that all wearables are wrong, but some are helpful. Some of these are extremely good. Yeah, 99% accurate. That's still not 100% accurate. But in terms of how I feel compared to the data that I get on these apps, I noticed that the Aura Ring was definitely more in line. For example, so if I know that if I drink or I eat a heavy meal right before bed, my heart rate is going to be higher, my body temperature is going to be a little higher, and I notice that data in my Aura Ring. Whereas on the Ultra Human Ring, there were some nights where my body temperature was up up and it didn't say anything. It said, hey, you're fine. You're good to go. You're feeling great. Knowing that it just didn't capture the same exact data as my Aura Ring was a little scary. Now, in terms of overall data points, they do provide heart rate, heart rate variability, your skin or body temperature. They give you kind of a recovery score or sleep score. And then inside of the app, you can kind of see trends based on the last couple of weeks. I'm going to put the Ultra Human and Aura Ring data side by side here. So you can kind of see on the same exact days, what was my kind of like recovery score? And also what was my sleep score? What kind of information did they show me on the same exact day? And as you can see, 
see they're slightly different. So that's where you can't take all this information as if it's the truth. This is just another data point that allows you to develop more insights into how you feel. Sometimes this data can be overwhelming. And the thing that I love about Aura is that it will actually give you recommendations like, oh, did you eat late last night or did you drink alcohol? Because it seems like your resting heart rate was elevated for the first half of the night. So when they can kind of extrapolate all of this raw information and data and then provide insights to you with the least effort possible, I think that's where the real value comes in. So any product that can drive behavior change, right? Showing you information on what potentially caused it is extremely valuable. Next are the unique features. So Ultra Human actually came out with a continuous glucose monitor first. I did test this out a long time ago. And as you can see, I can see kind of my glucose values, the food that I ate and my logs throughout the day. And I think the theoretical concept is that you can correlate your glucose values to your sleep data all within the same app. And they also have a performance coach, which can help communicate what's working, what's not, and what to take from all this data. I haven't tried the performance coach feature, but I think in theory, this can be valuable. But if you're someone who isn't fully dedicated to actually improving their life, this will just be overwhelming. So make sure that you're auditing yourself and saying, hey, am I buying this product just because I'm curious, I want to try a cool new toy? Or are you actually willing to invest time, resources, and effort to take this data, understand what's going on, and change your life? Because uh, let's be honest, I love toys too, and it's nice to buy them. And then they just sit there and you don't do anything with it. Now, one thing that's unique about the Aura Ring is that it integrates with natural cycles. It's like all natural birth control. I have a video on that. It's these third party integrations that Aura is ahead on. And I would love to see that for Ultra Human as well. Now, the one thing that the Ultra Human Ring has that I think I would love to see Aura adopt as well is kind of the coaching at the top. It'll have a timer and it'll say, hey, this is your sunlight window. So make sure you go outside, you get some sunlight within the next 30 to 60 minutes. Or this is like a neutral circadian window. It doesn't matter what you do. It's not going to impact your circadian rhythm. Or even at night, it says this is the window right before bed. Make sure you minimize any kind of bright light exposure. So having these kind of like live timers that show that based on how I've slept the past couple weeks is really, really valuable. And the final features that I think are really important is integration with Apple Health or Google Fit. So since I'm an iPhone user, I think it's really important to have this Apple Health integration, whether it's writing your sleep start and end times as well as sleep stages and reading workouts that you might be measuring from other apps, whether it's your Garmin, your Apple Watch, etc. So since I wear my Apple Watch during the day, I can automatically pull in the workouts that I have right into Aura. I don't need to do anything. I think that's extremely valuable. And then Aura will also write my sleep to Apple Health. So if there are any other apps, like I like to use Rise to see my overall sleep depth. It's really nice to have my Aura Ring data written Apple Health, and then I can access that information inside of any other app that reads Apple Health. Whereas right now, the Ultra Human only writes my blood glucose values, which I really love, mindful minutes, but no other like sleep or activity information. Having Apple Health integration is definitely one of the critical factors. Next, battery life and charging. So they both use wireless chargers. They kind of use these little charging docks right here. Very small footprint. They're kind of nice. They both use USB-C, which I appreciate. But the downside is the charger only works for your size of the ring. So if you have a partner or a friend and you go to their house and you want to charge your ring, you can't like you would with your iPhone. Fun. If their ring is maybe like one size smaller, you might be able to get away with like kind of placing it properly and getting it to charge. But for the most part, your charger only works for your size. So that's one of the biggest downsides with most ring chargers. I think Circular Ring did a great job where their charger works with all sizes and it's even smaller. I would love to see kind of like a travel charger because carrying this is just another thing you got to carry with you and then a cable as well. And it kind of becomes a hassle. But if you have this set at home, you have kind of a dock, you can just place it on. I think the overall charging experience is pretty good. And that's where we can talk about battery life. It is Saturday, April 8th and the rings are dying so i'm going to charge them the aura ring is at 21 percent it's red it's telling me to charge it before bed and the ultra human ring is at 38 percent in the first test i wore them during the day and at night but then when i did the second test i only wore them at night and i left the rings just sitting at my desk because i didn't want to wear them during the day and i found that the ultra human ring actually ran out of battery much faster than the aura ring so maybe it's a software thing where they're not shutting off the sensors and it's still checking for heart rate but for the most part i'm able to get three to four days of battery life and lastly the most important factor which is price. So the Ultra Human Ring for all of the colors is $299 US dollars, whereas the Aura Ring starts from $299 up to $549, I think even $949, depending if you want to get the Gucci one. I don't know what Gucci is, to be honest with you. I was really fascinated with the Stealth Aura Ring, kind of it's like a matte black color, and I just think it looks sleek and sexy, so I did pay extra for that. But then on top of that, Aura does have a monthly membership, so you'll get six months free as of today, and then it's $599 every month after that. What I don't like is that they charge you for the ring, and they have a membership price, so it's like, what extra value are you getting with the membership? I would love to see them add on more for the membership price, where you can kind of get your basic raw data, not just these at scores and then you're paying 5.99 for extra data extra information maybe it's monthly reports or something but as of today 
to use the ring and not just to get the three basic scores to actually get all the raw data it's capturing, you have to pay the monthly membership. Series six times 12, $72 a year. And considering the Aura ring might last maybe two to three years before the battery just kind of goes kaput. Series 72 times three, 216 US dollars over three years just for the membership. So that's almost doubling the price over the Ultra Human Ring. Now, which one should you buy? None of them because save your money. Don't be like me and spend it all. But in actuality, if you're trying to understand your sleep and wear a pretty discreet and sleek looking tracker, I would honestly go with the Aura Ring just because they've been in the game the longer. You can trust the data. Yes, Ultra Human just came out, but it's going to take them some time to catch up. The same thing with the Google Pixel Watch, right? It just came out. It's their first generation and they're trying to compete with like an eighth generation. Apple Watch. It's going to take years of iteration of working and feedback to finally get there. And yes, it is more expensive with the membership, but I found it the heart rate and the heart rate variability to be accurate based on past research papers. And I think they kind of have one of the best recommendations when it comes to how did you sleep last night? The Ultra Human Ring is still in its infancy. It's very new. I would give them another one or two iterations before I do invest in a product. I think they did a great job on the design, but the software still has some work to do. The Aura Ring isn't the only great sleep tracker. There is another one. It's called the Whoop Strap. Since you enjoyed this video, go watch my video where I compare the Aura Ring versus the Whoop Strap linked right here.